Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from D22 Responses and this is going to be a updated tutorial on Windows Live Movie Maker and I have Windows 10, the current operating system I'm running right now and most of you probably still have uh, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 and you're probably wondering how to start editing your videos. So I was able to download Windows Movie Maker on my Windows 10 computer so that we can use it. So we're just going to go start and we're going to do a search for Movie Maker. So the Movie Maker desktop app will appear there and then we are going to open that right now. Now usually this Movie Maker software comes with Windows Live Essentials software package. So if you downloaded the software package, then this was included in your computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding our photos and videos. So we're going to click on this and then we're going to just choose a video for kicks and giggles. I'm going to choose this that I got from my Flip Minnow camera. And what will happen here is that Movie Maker will prepare the files and depending on how long the file is it will just calculate the size and it may just take just a few minutes so while that's going on I'll just explain to you the other features so what you have here is you can also add music to your video so we can go and put the iWay data in here this is just something that I made off of my voice so it's not really music but it is an audio file so you can add the audio file underneath there so as you can see the audio file is right underneath the video file and what it does is that it just signifies that the audio file is there sorry let me just set my phone to vibrate anyways so what you have here is your timeline and you can also stretch the timeline further by zooming in or zooming out now as you can see this is the video with the audio duration so the video is right here where there's practically no pan and zoom or transitions it's just that and then the green thing is the audio and then this little black bar signifies your position in the video so then let's say you want to cut out blank space so then what you do is you click within the region here and then you right click and then you go split so what happens here is that you can remove this part and then your part is edited so that way you can cut effectively so my last tutorial didn't explain this that well because you weren't able to cut out or edit scenes but with this new improvement it just made things a whole lot easier so what you can do here also is that if you're between scenes you can go right here you right click on your audio timeline and then it should have split there but it's not highlighted so let's go set start and then set end point so what just happened here is that we set a start point for the audio and we ended it right there so if you made that mistake press control Z yes I say Z I'm Canadian and that is what you do so our video file is still processing here because this file that I have here is about nine minutes long so it's about almost a gig in size and Movie Maker will be able to put that in there it'll just take a really long time to do so while we keep going with this we're gonna just explain more of the features you can also do webcam video if you have a webcam attached or if your webcam is built into your PC then you can use it and then you can also record narration but for your webcam video the best webcam that I recommend is like a USB webcam which you can plug into a USB port because it'll it'll recognize it faster and it may it may be an HD but if your webcam is not an HD it'll still recognize your camera and then the record narration you can also record a narration so you go to record narration and then you can select an audio device and webcam to record so let's say we selected the USB headset that I'm wearing and then the integrated webcam so I'm gonna move this a bit and then it'll go to the integrated webcam and my USB headset so we're gonna go OK and then what will happen is that it'll give you the record option and then when you press record it'll get started what is up bambinos my name is blobbity blah blah but not like blobbity blah blah penis so that way you can just stop the file there and then you can go and save your progress so the progress will appear right here 
along with the audio that has been imported into your clip. So let's just say, well, let's just listen to what we have. So I had a show on what is up, Bambinos? My name is Blobbity Blah Blah, but not like Blobbity Blah Blah. Penis. So that is pretty cool. You can record narration, you can layer audio on top of other audio, and you can also edit your videos. So it's really fantastic. And sorry about that slang term. I know probably little kids are watching this. They probably heard it before, but hey, I'm just giving you a disclaimer. And what we have next is a snapshot feature. So you can create a snapshot of the preview. So let's say you go to your preview. We'll just wait until this finishes importing. Once the clip finishes importing, it is a really big file, I'm not going to lie. It will allow you to view and take a picture of the snapshot to use as a thumbnail. And then also what you do next is you add a title to it. So you can add a title called Call of Duty ghosts that's the footage that I got here so that's what we're gonna do so we press enter and if you want to add more space you can do that or you can just click outside and then your title will be finished and it'll just be in like the shaded format here like the transition will be different so we you can choose the transition as well so what you will do is you pick the transition in early 2000 so the audio it previews the audio when you hover over a transition like this Back in early 2006. So if you hover over a transition, it'll allow you to choose it. Back in early two And then you can apply the transition. So you can scroll back and forth to see how the animation looks. And you can go from there. So let's just go to our footage here. It's not, it's still not imported because this is a big, big file. And there is about uh, two items that we have. We only have a few items, but we've already done a lot in these few minutes that I've been talking to you. And then you can also add what's called uh, filters. I had a show. These are cinematic filters, so you can just click on that and then it'll apply to it there. So, like I said, the clip is still importing. So once the clip is fully imported, then you're good to go. So it depends on how big your file is as well. If your file is like 100 megabytes, then the Windows Movie Maker will have no problem putting the video in. And it accepts a variety of formats. You have to make sure that the best formats to use are WMV and MP4. And also MOV should work too. And any other file type should work too, like AVI or MTS or OGG or FLV. FLV might not work, but I've heard in some instances that it might work. So. Just experiment with the different movie types. And if you have any questions about the movie types that don't work with Windows Live Movie Maker, just leave it in a comment below, and I'll look it up in a support guide to see what the problem is. Now, I know I've made videos about this before, describing the features in Movie Maker, and most of them were not in full detail. So with this video, it's going to be a little bit longer, and it will have more detail in it. So you can add captions to the video as well. So the caption here is... Uh, shooting noobs you can just add that in there however you like and you can click outside of it there and then it'll just give you that little caption and then it's at a certain length you can set the duration of it and let's say it's just only one second but you can also set it to 25 seconds and then it'll appear throughout the duration of the video or just at that certain part and then you can add another one in there and then the home screen is what you have there. Animations. Animations are what we can apply to our video clip once it's all imported. So visual effects, same thing here. We have to wait until this video finishes importing. I know that this is a long wait, but that's okay. We're going to get it done. And then it'll give you the project tab, which will allow you to mix the audio with the video or the music itself. So we're just going to go put the slider where video is and then you can emphasize video or emphasize music and then you can mix the audio up like this and then you can also put no emphasis and then you can set the screens to standard 4x3 aspect or 16x9 16x9 is what you should always set it to because YouTube fully supports HD and when you upload 4x3 it'll just be like the box pattern like most YouTube videos were back in 2005 so widescreen is the way to go and that is the way to do it and you go to view and then you can zoom in or zoom out of the thumbnail size the time zoom and then you can also turn waveforms on or waveforms off and then you can also preview Six. full screen so I had a show on you. What
this show can and you can also go back to full screen so you can press escape to get out of full screen and that's how that's how you do it then you can go to narration tools and you can set the fade in and fade out you can also split audio you can set the start time of the narration set the start point and the end point and then you can manually enter the times here as well and then same thing with the music tools it's the same setup and then text tools you can change fonts you can add font size transparency bold italic strike through okay our video is done importing so basically it, it, it was a 900 meg file that we've imported so what you see here is Call of Duty footage so we're just gonna skip ahead a little bit and then it'll just give us that that's basically the duration of the film and then we're just gonna preview something you see that's Call of Duty Ghosts the, that's my TV screen recorded from my flip cam with my multiplayer footage so that is basically what you're seeing there it's about 10 minutes in length this video and it's pretty it's, it's just a video that I just put together because I wanted to do something for a gaming channel and all that so I do have a gaming channel in my description below if you want to check it out so yeah that is how you normally do things we've just explained how to add audio how to do voice narrations how to add titles now for the animation part so we're gonna go to the animations and then I can really you can preview the animation and go to visual effects and then you can back apply visual effects which is threshold back in early 2006 I so we're gonna apply the black and white effect to our video so as you can see here the black and white video has been applied and you can also do cyan 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 tone so we're gonna leave the cyan tone and then you go to project we've already went over these and then you can also fit to well if the music fits to the length of the video this will be highlighted but if you don't have a 10 minute song it won't fit the 10 minute video and then for the view you can go thumbnail size extra large icons that's what we did so that we can see the waveforms and we also taught you how to split audio so what we do here is we right click then we go split and then when you split that you can go remove and that is how you split videos you just have to check your wavelengths and your lines to make sure that the audio and video match up and if they do then you can properly cut the video now before on this last video I explained that you couldn't but I think this is an update to the movie maker so now you can so let's say you're done with your project and you've put your text in you have put your animations in and everything and you're finished so what you do is you go home and then you can rotate the video a certain way like if you have like a iPod video you can rotate it left or right to adjust to the aspect ratio so I'll show you what it looks like here so if you rotate the video right that's what it looks like and then you rotate it left to turn it back so let's say you recorded something from your iPhone or iPod and it was like this box like shape you can rotate it so that it goes full screen so that it renders on your video so that's one way that you can do it and what you can also do is you can also import it to OneDrive you can upload to Facebook you can upload to YouTube Vimeo and also Flickr and also through uh, groups so you can download you can check all of your settings here or you can just save the movie as is in a f in recommended format so you can go recommend it for this project for high definition display that's 1080p and for your computer which is basically the small size of the computer for email which is large enough to fit in the email box and then what you can do is you can go for phone and device settings a large android phone a medium android phone apple iphone feature phone and also a small phone windows phone zoom who uses zoom anymore and then also uh, for a tablet settings here Windows 8 tablet, Windows 7, Apple iPad, 720, Android, and then you can go website settings, Blip TV, Daily Motion, Facebook, Flickr, MySpace, OneDrive, Video, YouTube, and then you can just save the audio only. And then you can also create a custom setting, and then you can name it however you like. So the setting for it, let's just say Android 1080p, it'll set the video settings, the audio format, and then you can save it. So you close that, and then once you're done, you just go there, 
and then it'll give you the opportunity to save which we won't do right now so once you click save this is what will happen it'll save the movie but we're not going to go through this because this will slow down my computer a lot so we're going to click cancel and then are you sure you want to cancel yes we will click yes to do that so we'll click yes so we're going to cancel that so that is how you make a movie in movie maker and the rest is up to you basically all I did was just show you how to use the controls how to import your videos how to apply audio record narrations how to split clips and audio and to add effects and transitions so I hope this tutorial has helped you leave it in the comments below if you feel that there should be more to it and if you have any other questions than what I explained in this video please leave a comment below thank you so much for watching this updated tutorial get fueled for life have a wonderful day and I'll respond to you another time